Greetings, RC Model Geeks! And here we are in the shed for part four of the PB Models Tornado build as supplied by Cloud Models. Thanks, Phil. And talking of Phil's, there's another one. Different Phil. It's the old Bixler. Hello, mate. Hey, how's it going? We haven't seen you for a long time, have we? No. No. Hey, you're uh, you're having your eye done, aren't you? Yeah. Which one? This one. One, <laughs> one I can't see out of. Uh, what are they doing to it? I don't know. Um, they can stick needles in it and cut it open. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, excellent. Uh, yeah, Phil's having his car act done, so he'll be able to see. So no more excuses, eh, for crashing. <laughs> yeah, so keep an eye out for that. When's that? The 20... 22nd. 22nd. <sighs> this week. Oh, it's this not Friday. long, is it, mate? This Friday. Not long. I know. Right. God, everybody's in hospital, aren't they? Eh? Yeah. Oh, that's true. There's someone else I know is in hospital as well. Really? Yeah. Who's that? Oh. Huh. Never heard of them, have you, for Pete? Anyway, it's like that silence, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, eh? <laughs> back, to, back to the tornado. <laughs> back to the tornado. Here we are. So we've um, oh, we've had interruptions all morning, haven't we? We have. First, first old um, old V bomber Brian turned up, <laughs> and then uh, and then old Bixler turned up on his bike with squeaky wheel. So people are thinking, well, all you've done is, what, one, two, three... So all we've done this four, morning is... Stuck, five bits of gluing. ...stuck bloody uh, four formers on. One, two, three, four. And the back. And stuck the back together. That's all we've managed to do this morning. But it is all, you know... It's nearly one o'clock. See, one of the comments was, glad to see you guys back again. It was, exactly. exactly. Well, somebody has to be glad to see us. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, that is all we've done. You get the feeling this is going to be another short video today. <laughs> what do you reckon, Pete? Well, hopefully we can get this top on. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to put some sides on. These little bits here, these have got to glue on there like that. Yeah. Um, and that'll make start to make that sort of nice rounded turtle decky kind of thing. That's but it needs on cutting it. on one side. Yeah, we've got to like, taper on the other it side. and get it on there and level it. And then there's a bit that goes on top, <coughs> which uh, Pete ain't got out of the box yet, so you'll probably be having uh, nightmares about that tonight. Oh, well, yeah, I've got to find, yeah. Yeah, finding that bit of wood. Finding that bit like of wood. Like a never-ending journey, isn't it? The search for that bit of wood, mate. Exactly. I like, like the search for the bloody razor plane that we just had. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was, yeah. Here it is. Luckily, Pete did inspect all the drawers for the razor plane and couldn't find it. And strangely enough, it was in the drawers, wasn't it, Pete? It was. It yeah. was. It <clears> was. <throat> I found it with my one eye. You were probably looking for a different one. <laughs> yeah, Phil found it. He's only got one eye. <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, and I've got a bit of a sore throat today. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we're going to get on with that and, uh, and, and see, how it, uh, see how it goes. But the fuselage coming together quite nice. So okay, it's coming together. We've got the sides on there, fixed on, on. Yeah, onto that uh, turtle decking. Um, so the next thing is this top's got to go on like that. Yeah, and as it's um, nearly gone lunchtime, uh, what we're going to do is uh, wood glue that on the top so it gives us a little bit of wibbly wobbliness and let that go off over lunch time and, uh, and then come back to it after lunch. So we're going to get some wood glue on that now. Back with you in a minute. Okay, so we're getting there. So we've got the, uh, the sides and the top on there. All lovely jubbly. That's just drying off at the moment we would glue the top one on there uh, just to get the positioning right and the front part is glued on there that's good <clears throat> so all we've got to do now is some more wood on here some wood underneath some wood underneath there uh, you know and then the fuse loss is finished <laughs> <laughs> with a slight little bit of rubbing yeah with a little bit of uh, rubbing and uh, Planing. And planing, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Um, while this is going off, all this part, we might just look at the tail plane or something. Yeah? 
we could maybe make that, mate. Rather than just you know, standing around twiddling our thumbs. Exactly. We could do the horizontal stabiliser. Or we could do the vertical stab. You want to do the vertical stab, mate? You could do that. Yeah, let's do the vertical one. Just yeah. looks like. You want to find the bits for that? I'll go off and, and find the bits. We'll stick them together. So awesome. three eighths. There'll, there'll be three bits. In total. Three bits. Yeah, find that, mate. See if we can uh, get on with that. That'll give you something to do. It will. I'm off to, I'm off to open the big box. It'll give, give you something to have a, a dream about tonight, mate. Exactly. <laughs> I've got the wing still on my mind. Oh, excellent. Back soon. <laughs> OK. So, we come to doing the vertical fin and the rudder. Quite a simple it, operation. It was going quite smoothly, yeah. yeah. I mean, they make it sound quite simple in the instructions as well, don't they? Just join. Uh, and it's ma it, it would be made simpler if they'd actually used the same thickness wood. Uh, there's an upfuck here. Uh, it's a 60. <laughs> this bit here, you've got to glue all these bits together. That's the rudder, right? You've got to glue these three bits together here. Um, yeah, that bit's the same thickness as that bit. Perfect. Unfortunately, this bit is a 16th thinner <laughs> than uh, than all the other bits. I don't know if you can see down there. Doesn't show up very well. But it's a 16th, uh, which just happens to be the thickness of this sheet that I've got here. So, um, I think you can see it there. Oh, there you go, Pete. Yeah. So, uh, so we'll have to stick a bit of this sheet onto that centre bit to bring it up to the same thickness as the rest of the uh, the vertical fin. <laughs> luckily, you had some. Luck feet. Luckily, I had some in stock, <laughs> but that's off the barnstormer, so now I can't finish the um. barnstormer. So, uh, yeah. So we're going to have to um, glue that onto there. Rub it down. And bring the thickness up. No, only rubbing down, mate. It's exactly the right thickness. No, rub it down to the edges. Oh, yeah. Right, back soon when we glue that pile of shit together. OK, so we've got uh, we've got that bit glued together finally with its uh, extra filler uh, spacer sheet of a sixteenth uh, of an inch in there. So that's all good. We're going to put that to one side to dry off. Next thing, we're going to look at the horizontal stab and here it is straight out the packet yeah nice and strong and the second one there. yeah so we've got to glue them together uh, and then stick some front and leading edge and trailing edge Onto it, oh, and some tip blocks as well, because there's nothing there. So, uh, yeah, back soon when Pete's rummaged through the box yet again. Finding bits. And, and found the bits that we require. Right, well, nipping along, eh, Pete? We are. Quick so, bit of gluing. Yeah, quick bit of gluing. So we've joined the two uh, horizontal stab halves together. And then we've put all the wood around the edges. And also the tip blocks as well. So that's pretty much the horizontal stab are done. Uh, we've PVA glued or wood glued the um, the leading and trailing edges. We could cover that tomorrow, couldn't we? Or do we have to do any rubbing down? <laughs> uh, dinner gong, mate. <laughs> yeah. It's time for you to go. <laughs> yeah. I've been called. And then we uh, epoxied, obviously, the centre section of the... Um, uh, of the horizontal stab together. So yeah, that's all good. Here are the uh, elevator halves. Uh, obviously they need a lot of sanding to get them to a taper. Uh, so that's going to be fun. Uh, so yeah, that's coming along quite nice. There's one more thing we're going to do today. And that's just do uh, so things sort of dry off. And that is uh, glue the leading and trailing edges and maybe the tip block onto the wings. Onto these babies. And here they are. This is the top. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, top and that's the bottom. Now these have already these have got cutouts for uh, fixed undercarriage. Obviously we'll be modifying that slightly, hopefully. Um, and uh, it's also got a cutout for a servo there. And it's also got pre-board the hole down it for the wires. You see my finger? No. 
<laughs> we should be able to. Yeah, I can. Now. Oh, right, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, so um, we're not going to join the wings today, but we're going to put on the leading and trailing edges. Um, and we could probably shape them as well. Won't do that today, but we'll shape them before we actually glue the halves together, just because it makes the panels easier to handle. Exactly. A lot yeah. of shaping, if I remember, from the bullet. Yeah, minor problem. Unfortunately, this one's got slightly damaged in the box, and it the, the tip, mate. Tip. No, See that, that one? one? No, that's the other one. It's uh, you know, it's where stuff rattles around in the box. It's just got a bit of a donk in it here. Minor problem, won't matter because we're just sticking a big lump of wood on the end of that. Um, yeah, but I mean, these are solid as you know, you, these are great for it in trees because you only put a little dent in them. Lamp posts, lamp posts, not so good, mate. Okay. Sorry, okay, <laughs> right? So, we're gonna get on with uh, putting that leading and trailing edge on, and then we'll uh, come back to you. So, it's gonna be another uh, wood glue jobby for this. Back soon. Right, well, there is one wing all uh, wooded up with a tip on it, ready to dry off. Looking pretty good, eh, Pete? Super. Yeah, su super. Super magic grey. And then just a touch of little uh, finishing off with a, uh, a, a planer. Yeah, razor plane, yeah. Um, and a lot more work on making holes in that wing to get the retractable undercarriage. Yeah. Uh, uh, say no we, more, say yeah. no more. But yeah, that is uh, one done. So, on to the next one. There he is, there's a virgin one. Um, uh, and two bits of wood. So, we're going to get those uh, glued up right now. That was me. <laughs> right, well, that's it for the day. It's half past four on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, we've done an hour and a half this afternoon, haven't we, Pete? We uh, are. We had a long morning because you had the interruptions. Yeah, a long morning because old V bomber, V bomber Brian turned up with some IT issues. So that's most of the morning and a lot of screaming and shouting. Uh, he is 82, mind you. <laughs> so um, yeah. So anyway, this afternoon uh, we have done this. that. So that's drying off nicely. Yeah, we've but done, well, we stuck those three bits together and laminated a new bit to make it the same width as the rest of it. And? And then we've done two wing panels. So there's one of them, all gluing off, and we've even stuck a little bit of wood in there that we don't need, but we needed something to fill it in. So yeah. um, that, that was used to hold the yeah. That's used to stop the undercarriage twisting. But of course, we're not using that type of undercarriage. So we're so, going to uh, try and make use of yeah. So we've got to we've got to modify this now. We've got to make a wheel well in here, and then a mounting for the um, the actuator and stuff, and uh, lots of stuff like that. I mean, it's going to get complicated and ugly. The engineering part tomorrow. Yeah, uh, yeah, and obviously the servo hole there. So yeah, that's that is it for the day. Um, mm, might be a short video tomorrow. I've got to um, I've got to go and take my mother to go and see a baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's a trip up uh, for an hour's drive there each way. Oh, do you want to just pick up the uh, oh the fuse as well? Yeah, we, we can have a look at the fuse. I mean, we, we did do that today, didn't we? Yeah, as well? we've done that today as well. So, so uh, yeah, there it is. I mean, do you know what? That's the major parts. It's only a bit of fettling now. She's ready to fly. A bit of fettling, a bit of engineering. Yeah. Rubbing down. Yeah. So, um... And then our covering in our... Our uh, covering, yeah. I ordered covering um, from... Thanks for the person that gave me the tip on the covering from uh, Model Shop Leeds. Um, who have got this, uh, what is, whatever it is, Aura Cover Seconds, as they call it. Mm. So it's Aura Cover, but it's got slight blemishes in it. And it's nine quid for five metres. Um, yeah, which is brilliant. And that's coming tomorrow. So we bought our three colours, black, orange and red. I think, I don't know if you can get Oh, here it is. Yeah, it is on Pete's, uh, on Pete's uh, phone there. Uh, it's a little bit blue in the uh, camera, but... Uh, that is going to be the colour scheme of it. That was on one of the original boxes, so yeah. black, orange and red. 
Yeah, it's going to be awesome. We're going to have a little bit, bit of, of pinstriping. Yeah, a bit of white on it. We've got to get some pinstriping. Yeah, pinstriping. Uh, oh, yeah. and we're going to have some decals, obviously. Yeah, yeah, cheers, mate. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll see you when I can fit it all in. <laughs> oh, you're worse than my mother. Before you do the raptor. Oh, and the storch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the swallow's new plane. And the swallow's new plane. Busy times ahead, everybody. Busy times. And the shed gets smaller and smaller of each day. Exactly. As, you wait till as, we start as, doing as the rubbing Pete down. And me eat more and more. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is winter. Right, that's it. We're going. Cheers all. See you probably tomorrow. Might be a short video, like I said, but uh, hopefully we'll be here tomorrow. Catch Bye. you later, all. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. If you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal, paypal.me forward slash RC Model Geeks. If you want to contact us, you can email us rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.